Hi everyone, it's Goddess Lily. I want to show you um, some details about how I put together my wig caps for different projects. So this project that I have going on <coughs> is Build Your Own Wig, where the client sends me the lace front and the hair. So, in that case, you have to make sure that you know you're working with the client's measurements when you're building you know their own wig <clears throat> so what i did was i started off with this u-part wig cap center because the client wants a you know the her closure on in the center not a side so i started off with this <clears throat> i totally altered this cap you can tell that I did add more, you know, lace, the wig net to make this cap stronger. But you can also tell if you look real closely on the cap, I totally cut this whole side off and I totally cut the back off. And that's because the client would like to have ventilation along the side. So you can kind of see where I, um, I marked it with red thread. So that area I'm going to be ventilating. So th this client also has pretty a pretty small head. A normal head, and normal I mean by the weight, the person weighs anywhere between 100 and 1, maybe 40 or 150 it's 14.5. That's a normal medium size head. Her measurements are 12 from top to bottom. 12? Yeah, so it's it's very small. So either that or she gave me her measurements from top to bottom starting probably, you know, maybe an inch or so past, you know, from her hairline. So I don't know. I just make the wigs according to the measurements that you send me I don't question it so you can probably tell it's you know it's not a lot of room back here as if you know was this is a little small head but if you were to put it on you know your head it's probably not gonna come all the way to the front well I don't know I'm just saying I don't know what measurement she gave me so another thing I want you to see is <clears throat> the back now this is the back of the wig cap that I sell. So you cannot have that nap back there if you want to wear your hair in a high ponytail. Basically all I could have done was just cut this off because you can just cut it right below, you know, that, um, that ribbon. I could have did that, but I decided that these straps are so flimsy, you know, and after they, they give out, that elastic, they give out maybe, you know, about six months. So one of the things that I do, can you get that, honey? Oh, my husband just came home. Hold on. Okay. One of the things that I like to teach in wig making is how to build your own elastic nap and this is one of the things that I teach in advanced wig making so you actually make your own nap with your elastic and you add your clips now I use the bigger clips because I want them to stay in there and not pop out so these little clips you know they pop out they don't work I like to, I use the stronger elastic and bigger clips. And it's already made to your exact measurements. It's made her circumference, I believe, you know, just say the circumference is 21 or 22. It's exactly 21 or 22, but you need the elastic back there to make it snug. So when you're making your wigs, you make it exactly to the circumference and then you rely on the elastic to give 
that client, you know, the snugness that they need. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to bring this to you and just kind of let you see how I put together, you know, a wig. This is, um, <clears throat> actually is the wig cap, you can tell, but I added more foundation on it because my sewing machine just really tears this stuff. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and ventilate the sides and blend that, you know, that seam in with the lace front and all the ventilation and then I'll sew the tracks and I'll be done and I'll be back and show you the front final product. Thank you for watching.